Hey everybody, Chris Fisher here, founder of Osearch. One of the sharks that I think about quite frequently we don't talk about much is a shark named Hilton. Hilton was captured off Hilton Head, South Carolina. And I'll never forget the day. It was one of the first times we worked in that area and we really didn't know if we were gonna see a lot of shark activity. And sure enough, this big male white shark came up. And all of a sudden, one of the scientists says, hey, why don't we check to see if we can get a sperm sample? So we stick a catheter up there and we push hard on its belly. We proceeded to get our first real sperm sample from a male white shark. There we go, nice, nice, yes. And it was robust. Like we had been trying to find these for years and we had been up in Canada and in the Cape Cod area and all over and we had never found any sign of mating activity. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, Hilton, gives us this incredible sample, which got us all thinking like, oh wow, maybe it's going on down here in this region. Out of nowhere, we're like, I wonder where this shark's gonna go. Is it gonna go up to Cape Cod? And what part of New England is it gonna work on? And that shark went straight to Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia. And all of a sudden, Nova Scotia became an option. We're like, wow, this is crazy. Well, we continued our work and continued tagging in the Southeast over the years. And we have found that 88% of our sharks go to Canada and only 12% go to the Northeastern United States. And Hilton was the one who gave us the tip on the mating area and the tip that opened up Nova Scotia.